and welcome to Those Brothers Podcast. Well, hello, everybody. I'm Beaver. And I'm Ron. And um, today we are just kind of um, doing whatever God tells us to do at this point, I think. But Yeah, this is this this episode or podcast. We have absolutely nothing prepared. Yeah. <laughs> nothing prepared for this. But we have... Um, we would, we've we've come to learn, I think, through the process of this, to trust the Lord. Amen. And I'm talking really trust because it, it it's not just like oh I trust God. Having spoke a few times and having you know you have your notes and you try to prepare and you try to do all this and that. You, you, I would end up just being like, okay, I can't connect the notes. I can't connect, you know, the, the, the point that I wanted to make. I was trying to create, like we, we talked before, a three-point sermon. Yeah. And never would work out. And so it was just like, okay, God, I'm going to step off the edge of this proverbial cliff and pray that you, you I know you've got me, you know. And that's kind of what we're doing on this episode here. Yeah, that's kind of <laughs> what we're doing on this episode here, so. Um, let's pray first. Let's pray first. Yeah, it sounds good. Father, we come before you. We thank you, Lord, for this day, for this opportunity, for your son, Jesus. Father, we ask you to help us share our heart and just talk. And we give you thanks for this opportunity, Father, and ask that your spirit would lead us. And in Jesus' name, we ask this and pray. Amen. Amen. Um... So we talked a little bit about doing kind of just going over, I guess, just your testimony, just a little bit more. Um, and uh, I kind of have something. Okay. Have you, you know how it talks about confession and repenting yeah. in the Bible? I mean, that's, you know, we're supposed to confess our, our sin and we're supposed to repent mm -hmm. of our sin. I don't have any problem with the confession. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Confessing it, like like uh, if I was gonna, you know, if I open up to you, hey Beaver, I got I got this going on, man. I got, you know, I don't I don't have any problem confessing it. Mm. Where the issue is with me, yeah, is repenting. Yeah. So yeah. like, you mean you talking like confessing to to someone or just like out loud? What the confessing? Oh, oh, oh just the the simple the act of confessing. the act of confession. Right, yeah, right. you know, confess your sins and then you know, and then yeah. repent. Exactly. You know, it's the repentant that's. Yeah, yeah. I'll give you an example of what happened. Uh, a couple of years after I'd been out of prison, I had a good job, um, and I was off parole. And so, you know, I was even more freer. Now, now I can really, you know, what are you going to do, this and that? Mm -hmm. Well, uh, I had drove and seen some family members, and I was on my way back, and I just uh, thought I'd stop and get a six-pack, you know? And I knew it was like in, on the inside, I'm like, oh, man, I know this ain't right, but I know, oh, yeah, I mean, you know, maybe you can— you know, just drink one beer or, or whatever, you know. And so I have my mentor, mm -hmm. my mentor. I love my mentor, man. He, he, bless his heart, he walked with me through all this. So I, I call him up and I'm like, hey, brother, uh, man, I just, I just stopped and bought me a, you know, a six pack of beer. You know, I feel it. <clears throat> I know it ain't right. I'm feeling bad about, you know, I just, <laughs> just wanted to call and let you know. And he was like, well, brother, well, you know, just pour it out. And I was like, oh, no, 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 brother. I'm just telling you that I feel bad mm. about this. I'm not telling you that I'm not going to drink not, the six I'm pack. I'm not repenting just yet. I'm not, <laughs> I mean, and yeah. I've always had that issue. Mm. It's easy, you know, to confess my sins. I'm not saying it, you know, it's just a lot simpler for I have found in my life. It's easy to confess my sin. Lord, I've, con you know, I've committed this sin and, 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 and I ask you forgiveness, but as far as like turning from it, yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah, that repenting, yeah, which the Bible and never says, doing it again, right? 
Yeah. I, 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 that's where the rubber. <laughs> yeah. Where the meets, rubber meets the road. Yeah. You know, I feel that the same way. I mean, I've, it, I mean, it's funny what you bring up that, um, I don't think about till you say it like that. You know, it's like, oh, I don't have a problem with confessing, but I have, I have issues with repenting. And it was, you know, it was like something goes off in my brain. I'm like, ping, I have the same issue. You know, it's like there's, I mean, it, I think, you know, probably a lot of people do. If you, if you want to be honest with it yourself, you know, it's like, okay, you know, I, I do, you know, I do have an issue. I mean, I've, you'll quietly repent stuff to yourself or confess stuff to yourself in a low yeah. undertone voice all day long. Right. You know? Oh, I do have a problem with that. You know, I, I do have a problem with Everything okay, you know, eh, it'll be all right, right? You know, it'll be all right. I, I feel that, you know, I've that's something that's for me is, you know, that's interesting. That it's kind of it's it's a trip. But yeah. It was just kind of like I've seen that in my in in my own experience. You know, the Bible says to confess your, you know, confess our sin, and then you know we are to repent to turn from that sin. Yeah. Well, what happens when you don't turn from that sin? And I'm not saying like you just throw yourself into a sin of thought. It's 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 bothering you inside mm-hmm. that that uh, whatever that struggle may be. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? But I'm I'm, I'm like powerless yeah. to actually repent, turn mm. from it. Or you know, or whatever, yeah. and then here comes the guilt and the shame and the, you know, and it's just around and around and around, yeah. you know. Yeah. And then I think to myself, you know, wait a minute, I didn't start this. I didn't wake up one day and say, "Hey, I want to belong to the Lord and I want to be a Christian." Mm-hmm. He initiated it. Yeah, he came. He came to find you. Right. So if he initiated it. Doesn't that put the responsibility of him doing in me what I cannot do in myself? Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Here's another. No, wait a minute. Here's another wow. part of it. Participation on my part. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. Well, I, you know, I've, I've got to play a part in this. I've got to participate. I have my own choice. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. So. You had, you're the one that went and bought the alcohol. <laughs> what? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, and and you know I, that went down that brother exactly what he told me, you know, and, and his encouragement, mm. and and I talked to you know I kind of make a little bit of light of it or whatever, but it was I str- I had that led me down a rough road. Yeah, wish I'd have never gone down. I wish I could be the person that could just drink one beer and and it's cool. Mm. Not happening. Yeah, because yeah. the only reason I you know I'm not drinking a beer to taste the. The hops and all that kind of. I'm drinking a beer because I want to get a buzz, man. Mm, yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's the truth of it. Yeah. And I and and I just can't. And anyway, it led me led me down a rough road. You know yeah. those addictions. I, me personally, I mean that people say, oh, you have, or people have addictive personalities or whether they're mm-hmm. easily. Ad- I don't. I don't even know how all that works. But yeah, I I have a, all the way down. All across the line, you know, I've had the addiction, addiction to cigarettes, alcohol, uh, heroin, uh, pornography, um, uh, on down the, you know, I mean, I've had those, yeah, those addictions, yeah, you know, and 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 God has has broken some, and some are left to struggle with, yeah. How does that work, you know, yeah, and 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 God hasn't given up on me. Yeah. You know, he hasn't forsaken me or forsaken you. And it's just like, oh, man, you're just not getting it. Yeah. You know, and then there's that other thing in, in the Bible that talks about, you know, he uh, he, he disciplines his son, mm. you know, a son who he loves. A father's, a father's not, you know, his love is if he loves his son, of course, he's going to discipline his son. Mm-hmm. You know, it talks about that in, in Hebrews. And it's like, ooh, you know, I don't want no discipline. Yeah, I don't want to make things any harder on myself than they already mm-hmm. are. Yeah, but but I have, you know, I have to. <laughs> yeah, I have I have a, a I sinful, have a, a sin- sinful nature. There you go. That's what it is. Yeah. yeah, and I've always thought about this: How do you rehabilitate mm. the sinful nature? 
You well, don't. You, yeah, you can't. It it's, can't be rehabilitated. It has to yeah. die. Yeah. It put to death, and that's what Jesus did. Yeah. You know, but we still struggle with with sin. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. like what I said, you know, I'm right, but I'm not right. Yeah. I'm right with God, but I'm still not right. I still make bad choices, you know, yeah. got, got our issues or whatever, you know. And I think that's an importance of, of being in, in where it says in the Bible about forsaking the fellowship, you know, the gathering mm-hmm. together, you know, however that works, however you see that. But yeah. the need to be able to open up to somebody who's not going to judge you yeah. with your with your junk, yeah. you know what I'm saying? To be able to confess and pray about it, yeah. I, I may not, you know, I may not. That repentance may not be there at that mm. at that right time, but I know I've got that brother that I can go to, yeah, that will pray with me, and and it's not going to look all crazy at me when I say, "Hey, brother, I got this going on." Then they look at you like, you know, like they're thinking, <laughs> like you their, murdered somebody, like or they're something, thinking yeah. in their head, "Ooh." Yeah, you know. Yeah, like, Bro- oh no, brother, are you really saved? Yeah, you know. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. I don't need any more. I, I fe- yeah, I feel that. I mean, that's that's something that I think people, you know. I mean, I know I've I've experienced that. Far as you know, like confessing something, get to to someone. Right. You know, um, I do believe that it needs to be the right someone. Absolutely, because you can't just walk into church and find the nearest Christian. Yeah, and I've learned that and be the like, hard way. Hey, look, I have a, you know, I have a drinking problem, right? You know, I have a drug addiction, right? You can't just walk up to somebody. I believe it has to be somebody, and I believe God will lead you to those people who've been there themselves. And those are the people that can best understand your your situation because they've been there and done that. Exactly, and, and um, wherever they may be in it. Yeah, you know what I mean, and they're there to encourage you. Yeah, you know, and they're and like if if you were to confess to somebody, you know, I've I have confessed to to people before some issues going on in my life, and they're like, "Well, brother, you just need to stop that." It's like, oh, yeah. oh my gosh, yeah, yeah, I know, man, I just so know, but I can't stop that. Yeah, yeah. or or how about if. And this is being rebellious, and this might be where the old discipline comes in. But what about if I don't want to stop that? Mm-hmm. You know, yeah. and I'm not talking about some crazy, you know, stuff or whatever. Yeah. I mean, you could you you can plug it, speaking bad to somebody or yeah. or talking bad. I mean, it's yeah. you know what, what yeah. fill in the blank, whatever that struggle that, that struggle is. Yeah. That you're, you know, that part about you that you're like, oh, I just can't fix this, even in my, you know, yeah. And then you, I, I had a brother, I had a brother one time, man. He told me, you know, we were we were confessing our sins to each other, and we were, you know, and and we were genuine about it. And and, and he was like, brother, well, it's good, man. Just memorize the book of Leviticus and go on a thirty day fast, <laughs> and you'll be good, man. Right. And 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 to me, it's like. You know that would be that. That's an effort at, at, at some religiosity or, mm-hmm. or whatever. You know, mm-hmm. it. But one thing that my struggle does keeps me going back to Jesus. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Taking yes. it back to Him, Lord. I do not understand this. I don't like this. This isn't. I know this isn't right, but it has this power over me that I. You yeah. know, you're the one that's that that you are God of all creation. You you, you initiated mm. it. And, and I'm broken, and I'm asking you to put me back together. Yeah. And, you know, some experiences I've had, well, he does it. It just turn. it just, the way he does it is in ways that you would never even imagine. Yeah. You know what I mean? That don't make sense or whatever. Mm-hmm. You know, I don't drink the way I used to. And you know why? Well, because I got shot twice. Yeah. <laughs> wound up in a wheelchair. And I tell you, at this point in my life, I just, I, it's just not my thing no more. Yeah. You know, yeah. now, uh, I wouldn't have wished or wanted to for you, but I, I see God's wisdom, man. I'm cool with it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. I, I'm good with it. However, way he worked that out, I would, you know, I wish I was the type of personality that I could lay those things down and just rock on. But yeah. you know what I'm saying? I'm, it's messy. Yeah. 
Exactly. It's messy. Yeah. There's, you know, a lot that I've, uh, have done that was, you know, it's like that. It's like you're, um, you're spending this, uh, it's like you were saying, you know, going to a, um, <laughs> I lost track of my subject anyway. Uh, you know, it's like you, it's like you saying, it's like drinking. It's like, you know, you're, I, I, I want to do this, you know, mm-hmm. I, I've, you know, and I've confessed it to somebody, you know, maybe, you know, hopefully it was the right person that can help you get to where you're supposed to be, right. you know, that can be like, oh, I can help you with that. And not like you said, someone goes, just, just stop it. Yeah. You know, and, uh, um, you know, I've I've been there a couple of times, and it's just like, like wow. I mean, of course, there's, I think there's a, a part where s- certain people, there's certain sins that you can't understand, and there's certain sins that I can't understand, you know. And, you know, it's like certain things, it's just like they just don't make sense to me, you know. And that's partly what I'm saying when I say go to the right person. You know, God have God lead you to, the person that can best help you with that, right. you know, and, um, you know, I've, uh, drank a little bit, um, but it's always, you know, and like I, like I said, it's, it's something that's, um, you know, I've, you know, advocated more for where the Bible says, you know, it's like, you know, drink, but don't get drunk, Yeah, you know, and, um, you know, and I, I do my my very level, you know, best to to. How about a buzz? A buzz, yeah. Drink, but don't get drunk. Yeah. Well, I don't. It's a. It's. <laughs> I'm that. D- d- yeah. I, I drink a, because I want to get a buzz. I've I've been there. I mean, I, I've I you know you do get that buzz, and it's a, you know, I, I I've often thought about that because it's like, oh, well, what is definite? What's the Bible definition of drunk? You know, yeah, and you know, you read a few, there's a few instances where where somebody you know got drunk, you know, and this happened and that happened in the Old Testament, and and you know, every time I've often thought about just really studying that, and I think that's where I've trying. I'm starting to slowly come into the realization of okay, really study something before you just you know read one little scripture and be like, oh, I'm good, right. You know, I'm good with that. I, I, I've got this. You know, this said, don't get drunk. <laughs> well, there's a there's a verse in the Bible where it's talking about um, that we've been set free. Mm-hmm. You know, or that that you are free to do all things, but not all, all things, things are, are beneficial. Or, yeah, all things are permissible, but all not the, yeah, not all things are beneficial. Yeah, yeah, you know? yeah. You can, for me personally, yeah, you can drink that beer, but it's not necessarily beneficial yeah and that buzz you're seeking you know for Mm -hmm. for for me it was two beers and then it took three beers to get that buzz then it took four beers and it was like you know it was off and running yeah you know yeah but so i'm free to do all things but not all things are beneficial for me whatsoever yeah that's where that free choice i've been given my free choice and i i don't make the right choices all the time don't yeah. make the good choices all the time and sometimes no. the choices that i do make that are not the right choices i'm allowed to struggle with them yeah you know so yeah that's uh i don't know we didn't have any we started at the beginning of this and we're like oh we don't know what we're going to say and then yeah the lord leads us just to talk about yeah you know, this it's like a said a few episodes ago with Matthew 7, 7, keep asking, seeking, and knocking. And that's, I think that's what we're going for in this particular episode is just asking questions, you know, seeking answers, you know, yeah. and, and then knocking at God's door and, hey, God, what is, what is your thoughts on this? What is, what is your heart on this particular issue, you know? Like I've never heard a message on somebody saying, you know, that, you know what the Bible says about confessing your sins and mm-hmm. repenting of your sins, but I don't think I've ever heard somebody or that sub or that come up in a church like, "Hey, I ain't got no problem confessing." It's the repenting part of it yeah. that I have an issue with. Yeah. Help, 
Yeah. You know? Exactly. Uh, you know? And then being able to get that help. Right. Yeah. Being well. able to get that, which Jesus, God will help him. Help, mm-hmm. You know, he'll, he will. He, he, that, who else are we supposed to go to? There's nobody else but him. Yeah. But Hopefully it, you don't have to reach for like a rock bottom before you start seeking that help as well. Ooh, yeah, that's a, yeah, I don't want to go there. That's a whole other subject, but yeah, I mean, I, I've. It's know. a whole nother result of the same issue if you're not careful. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Well, I mean, just learning, it's, for me, it's like the phone call to you the other day was, you know, hey, I need help. I, I'm going through a thing and I need you to pray for me. Yeah. I think it's all learning you know, it's all learning to, you know, to recognize that you need help and being able to ask for it. You know, we're not, we're not trying to be big and macho and, and, you know, yeah. something that we're not. And, you know, so it's like, you know, you know, ask, you know, what, what was it, the repentance thing, you know? Right. And, you know, it's like, okay, I, I you know, I, you know, maybe, you know, maybe there's a step between confessing. You know, and, you know, asking, you know, it's like, oh, I got to repent. Well, it might be there's a little place where you have to ask for help from somebody. You know, it's like, okay, help me understand why. I know this is wrong, but help me understand where I'm at, you know. Yeah. And then I can effectively repent. One of the one of the things I can say that God definitely delivered me out of was the gang life. Mm. I didn't go back to that. You know what I mean? I God delivered me from that. Mm-hmm. I, I didn't go back to that. I haven't gone back to crime. Mm-hmm. I haven't gone back uh, to a lot of things. But there are other things that I have gone back to that bug me. Yeah, and they bug me because I mean it's the Holy Spirit inside me. You know, he's, what does he do? He convicts. Yeah, he convicts the sin, and 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 so it leads you back to him to say, Lord, I need help with this. I need, I need grace. Mm-hmm. I need you to do. Something in me that I can't do in myself. Yeah, you know, I, I, I my, my, my repentant, my repenters broke, or however, <laughs> you know, that <laughs> that part of me is broken yeah. terribly. Yeah, you know, yeah. so it's like you were saying before, it's that muscle you got to keep working it. Right, and you know, it's it's going to be weak at first, and it's a spiritual muscle. It's a spiritual muscle. You got to be. You got to be continuously working it out, you know, continuously asking for help and continuously repenting to, you know, to, to keep, uh, to me, it's part of, it's another, it's another aspect of your walk with God. Yeah. You know, it's a continuous aspect. And uh, I think there's so many people out there that they don't know, you know, that that's part of your walk with God. It is continuously falling down, you know. Getting back up and continuously walking with God, like, oh man, I fell down again into whatever quagmire I ended up in. Mm-hmm. You know, okay, climb out. You know, okay, confess. Okay, I, I messed up. You know, I took a wrong step and ended up where I was. Okay, I need to. I'm, I'm repenting now. I'm asking for help. Okay, we're gonna continue on. Right. And, but yeah, I've, this was this was fun. Yeah, that was a crazy crazy little subject to talk about but hey it just you know just being transparent and you know and also praying and asking god to lead us in this so Mm -hmm. that what we talk about encourages people yes yes we talked about before where it's um before this all got started how it was kind of like this spiritual adrenaline to let god do his thing through you through every episode you know we've uh, tried to prepare a couple of these things and just didn't work out. Just didn't work out, and and um, you get you get nervous. You get kind of going, "Oh no, I need to be able to say the right thing. I need to be able to do the right thing," and because that's what everybody else is doing. And and then it comes right down to it. Every single time for me, it's come down to just trust me and just let me, you know, speak through you. You know, be. You know your your you know your voice. Yeah, and that's a and that's a good a good word for uh, to answer the question about somebody who who knows they ought to repent or or wants to repent and doesn't or whatever. Yeah. 
is to trust God. Yeah. You know, trust me, trust, you know, I can do in you what you cannot do in yourself. I mm-hmm. initiated in this, you know, and in, in, in the work, you know, his, his work in us, you know, he started that it's, it, and he will finish that. He says, mm-hmm. he promises us yeah. that he'll do that. But while you're walking through that, yeah, it's difficult. It can get dark and ugly and discouraging. Yeah. You know what I mean? And yeah. That's just another reason why um, we're learning to work that muscle to bring things to God. Yeah. You know, continue to bring things to God in our lives that don't make sense. Yeah. Yeah. So that was our message. That was our, our we hope everybody's discussion encouraged. For the our day. discussion. There you go. Yeah. So praise the Lord. We want you to be encouraged. We want you to be blessed by what you hear. And um, that's what we're going to continue to try to do. Yeah, so, absolutely. With God's help. <laughs> yes, absolutely. So, and for his glory. Exactly. So, well, all right, everybody. Well, that's it. Have a blessed day. Have a blessed day, blessed evening, blessed morning, whenever you're listening to this. And uh, we will see you on the next episode.